Hey guys, we are London here. My name's Andrew. My name's Ingrid. And today we're going to be reviewing Armani Code Classic Eau de Toilette versus the 2021 release of Armani Code Eau de Parfum. First on our list is Armani Code Classic Eau de Toilette. The fragrance launched in 2004 and it is citrus woody oriental fragrance. We have top notes of lemon and bergamot, mid notes is olive flower, guaiac wood and star anise, sell into a base of leather, tonka bean and tobacco. Shall we go into spraying and We shall. Trying? I have my <laughs> own uh, bottle here as one can see, I don't know how well that's focusing. We decided to give Ingrid a quick spray first, uh, my own personal bottle. Um, I, I do wear, sorry Ingrid, a bit powerful. Um, I wear this fragrance quite a bit. I don't reach for it as much as I used to, I think, but um, it's sort of light and fresh. But Ingrid, what do you think? Oh, it's lovely opening. Very sparkly, zesty, citrusy, lemon and bergamot. And it's got like a soft sweetness down the bottom, which is very, very nice indeed. Mm, it is a nice opening. Um, I do enjoy it when I apply it. Um, it's citrusy and there's sort of like a bit of spicy in there, not so much wood at the moment, that'll come a little later on, but I do like the star anise in there and there's some other hidden spices and um, yeah, all, all around a very nice opening. Shall we um, let it sell for 10 minutes, come we back should. and then we'll do a comparison with the Eau de Parfum in a minute. We're back after 10. Ingrid, has the Eau de Toilette version coming along? Oh, it's very nice, a very nice fragrance that you settle down to. It's like a sort of soft, um, slightly spicy, slightly woody fragrance. There is a little bit of um, olive tree blossom in there. It's just pleasant fragrance. Mm. Not it very is. loud though. Yeah, I mean, I do, I do like Armani Code, I just want it. It's, um, it's nicely spiced, it's easy going, it's smooth. It, it doesn't like demand attention. It's not like uh, in your face too much. Pretty much any season, more autumn, winter, spring, daytime. I get personally longevity, it's about four hours with sort of like muted medium sillage and projection. Makes a nice bubble, but it's certainly not like beast mode clubbing fragrance, to, in my humble opinion. Number two on our list is Armanico Eau de Parfum, a 2021 release, and it is Oriental Woody fragrance. We have top notes of lemon and bergamot, uh, mid notes is lavender, vanilla, and tonka bean, set into a base of suede, musk, and cedar. Sounds very nice. It doesn't sound bad. I'm going to fiddle around with the little <laughs> dude. I'm not very good with these. I apologise, guys. But we have um, said fragrance. It's going to give me a good, an oh, extra spray. Sorry, nice Ingrid. Spray. I like to be thorough here. So this one's supposed to be a bit more deeper and darker. Um, and the what we research is they're saying it's more tonka beanie. But let's decide ourselves. Ingrid, oh, opening. What do you think? Punchy. It's punchy mm. opening. Oh, it is. It's like citrus mm -hmm. is like all, mm -hmm. went all up my nose. Lovely opening, mm. don't get me wrong, it's lemon, um, it's bergamot there, and it's slightly, I can detect some lavender in it as well. Yeah, it is a little bit citrusy floral. Um, I'm the, literally, as I spoke, I was getting a little bit of that almondy tonka bean coming out, but that's supposed to come a little later. But opening is very nice. Have a little smell there, Ingrid. Yes. You, you, it's developing. Yes, it yeah. is. Yes, it's, it's there. Nice. Yeah, 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 so on first spray, don't just judge um, straight away. Even after like 20 seconds, it's coming on nice. But I think we're going to come back in our usual 10 and give you our full lowdown. We're back after 10. Ingrid, I'm Miley Code, Eau de Parfum. Oh, very, very pretty fragrance, actually. Uh, all tonka bean and a bit of citruses I still get in the background. Not so much of lavender, it's kind of m m a little bit more mm. muted now. Um, but yes, it's mainly for me more like marzipan, almondy kind of fragrance, isn't it? It absolutely is, Ingrid. That's bang on. Um, yeah, I can't add on too much more than what Ingrid just said. It's very, very pleasant. Even I mean, We've given it sort of 10 minutes or so to settle. It feels like it's got the same DNA as the original, whereby it's got the zesty top um, and it's got a bit of spice in there as well, like nicely smooth spice. But then you get the tonka bean, and just like what you were saying, Ingrid, it's um, it's like almondy marzipan-y to me, and that's more powerful, I'm smelling more than any other note. But it works well, it has a nice smoothness, and it's kind of like, it's a deeper version of the eau de toilette, almost like a separate fragrance, but it does hark back. I keep getting whiffs of, not because Ingrid's wearing it, but I keep getting whiffs of what I recall of the original. Um, 
As for seasons to wear, darling, and that kind of thing. Um, seasons to wear, in my opinion, more cold this, uh, time of year. It mm -hmm. will be spring, autumn, winter. Although I think it's perfect for like summer evening wear. Mm, yeah. uh, although you can wear it any time of day, in my opinion. It's not that too much in your face, if that makes sense. It, it doesn't have that depth in it to be just an evening fragrance. So it's suitable for any time of day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my opinion is um, any season late afternoon for evening for me personally i wouldn't be wearing this first thing in the morning whereas Marnie code eau de toilette I, I do grab it and, and have a little spray mm. in the morning when i'm out um it's um nice we read longevity is about six hours we haven't given it enough time mm. to confirm or deny that but from from what i'm smelling at the moment the you know projection and crg it, it's certainly a nice bubble here that we've got going along mm. yes, and i can is. smell it more than if i may darling and the original i have to get Kind of close ish mm. to do that and i always yeah. found the eau de toilette a little bit more intimate after the first half hour it will mm. project quite heavily at first and you think oh the eau de toilette is really yeah. good and yeah. it's not as great as i would like it to be maybe due to reformulation who knows now it's time for a quick comparison of both fragrances ingrid do you want to go first give a quick uh, 101 what do you reckon yes well with regards to Armani Code classic and i've known this fragrance for quite a while because andrew is wearing it um and it is very easygoing daytime fragrance, as I've mentioned earlier. It's more, in my opinion, more for younger generation, maybe because you know they maybe not in so much into Ooh. deeper, <laughs> deeper and more intense Gary. fragrances. But very easygoing, safe to wear to work, the office, you know, or, or mm. just anywhere around the town. As to um, Armani Code Eau de Parfum. This is more like evening type of fragrance. It's more like classy gentleman, more like suit dressed up fragrance. Mm -hmm. um, very nice, um, much um, deeper in terms of more visible on, on or prominent on the tonka bean note, more spicy. It, it kind of feels that way. And yeah, it's just more classy in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. If I may, madam. <laughs> um, so, Armani Code Eau de Toilette, been wearing it a long time. It's easy going, daytime fragrance, not super performing. Probably English right, might be for a younger man these days, and my days are numbered, but still very nice, comforting fragrance. I do enjoy it, although I wish it performed a bit better. The uh, the Eau de Parfum version, it's deeper, it, yeah, it's richer, classier, there's a bit more going on, and for me it's more late afternoon, evening, slightly more formal. I probably wouldn't wear it every day. Is an easy going fragrance, but um, as a nighttime, I think it's very, very nice. I do like the tonka bean uh, mixture there with the spices. Um, overall, a great fragrance. If you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Yes, and all those excellent things. Chuck a cheeky comment if you fancy it. If you've tried either of the fragrances or you own both fragrances or any comments at all, please let us know. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Take care, guys. Bye.